Hey everybody, welcome back. If you're new here, hi, I'm Mercury. So today, been a while since we did a little chat in the park, so we're gonna have a little chat in the park. So actually, it's been such a little while, this park was used to just be like a grass field and trees. It was like just a small local park. They put up a fence inside the park to create a dog run. How cool. So there's no dogs there. So let me show you what this looks like. So this is what they, they set up. They put this fence up and you see over here and then over there, there's a uh, double gates. So if somebody like opens the gate, you know, and a dog slips by by accident, there's a double door, but this is great. So now there's a place for all the doggos in the neighborhood to go and frolic together. I think that's wonderful. And they have like, I don't know if you could see it across the way over there. There's like a doggy waste pickup and dis like disposable garbage area. So it's, it's a super doggo friendly park. So I just, I thought that was a fantastic addition to this park. So just wanted to show everybody. I thought that was pretty nifty. Increasing the doggo friendliness and accessibility. Awesome. So yeah, so what's, what's going on Mercury? What's up? What's new? How you doing? What's what's been going on? Uh, stuff, stuff. Um, I'm doing okay. Um, I'm re-entering into life and sort of like navigating it as best I can, right? There's good days, there's days that are struggles and I just sort of go with the flow. Um, as far as my health, my I went for a CAT scan the results, I mean, this is one of those good news, bad news things, right? The good news is there was nothing problematic in the results of the CAT scan. You know, great. Um, I still don't know what was causing the pain. I'm feeling better, but I'm not all the way better by any means. So it's like, I'll be not doing anything in particular. Like I, I'll be standing in the kitchen, not particularly doing anything, or I'll be sitting on the couch and then I just get like a sharp pain going through like my abdomen. And it's like, what is that? Where do you come from? Why is this happening? And I still don't really have any, any substantial answers other than like what it's not. But what it's not also rules out some stuff that like could be really scary. So that's fantastic that I'm able to rule that stuff out. So yes, um, but it still causes me a lot of like physical discomfort. So I'm going out and about more, but I'm still not fully at what I used to be. I'm still, you know, like I need to rest. Um, I, I work in a hybrid situation on the days that I go into work. When I come home last week, I had to lay down flat for two and a half hours to feel okay again. Um, Cause I was in that much discomfort that I just was not, my body was like, nope. Nope, we're not doing this. We, we need to recover from this. So it's, it's been a challenge and I'm trying to like find a good balance in taking care of myself and getting done what needs to be done and still not feeling stuck. Like my mom called me like the day that I was like stuck and I was just like really not feeling well and really, really frustrated. And like, I was, I was so upset. Like I just, was not in a good space because like for someone like me who is out and about regularly and then like not being able to do that it was taking its toll on me and I was like getting angry I was getting angry at myself like I was like angry at my body I was like why is my body not letting me do things that I love to do and like enjoy my life and go out and do things and I was like I was getting very mad at myself and trying to like find a way to give myself grace and, you know, recognize that like, this is a temporary moment in time, fortunately, and this will pass. And I just need to do things to take care of myself to get through it. And that's, that's the best I can do right now, right? But that being said, um, I have been doing that and now I'm starting to feel better. Amazing, right? Um, like I said, I'm still not 100%. I'm still not great, but I'm, I, like I feel like I'm on the mend which is not where I was two weeks ago like two weeks ago I felt like I was in the thick of things right now I feel like the pendulum is starting to swing back the other way thank goodness so that's that um, also now that I'm feeling better 
I'm also feeling a little more confident that in a reasonable amount of time, so a couple of months, not too far away, um, I'll be up to traveling again. So I booked another cruise. So there will be another cruise in the future. Um, and this will be on a ship I have not sailed on yet. New for me, and I'll bring you along. So that'll be exciting. So that's a couple months down the road, enough time for me to, to really recuperate and feel better. And then I get my travel back on and travel for good reasons. No more traveling for bad reasons. We wanna travel for good reasons. Sorry, I got distracted because like leaves just fell from the trees over there. See, see these trees right here while I was talking like something just fell from there and went boo, 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 boo. yeah sorry got a little bit distracted by that but yeah so that's uh that's what's going on in mercury land um what else watch the new doctor who enjoying that enjoying the new doctor um he's making me laugh y'all he's making me laugh i'm i'm really enjoying this i know i know when like every time a doctor changes there's always like okay what are they gonna do with us this time right we don't know what's gonna come y'all i'm on board for this i'm on i'm on the the train for this one because i like where they're going i like where it's heading so we'll see we'll see but it's interesting now that disney has picked up doctor who and there's more of a budget it also feels like the writing is improving and you know the costumes and they it, it feels like they've invested back into it which is awesome it's awesome and sort of embracing the quirkiness that is the doctor um I, I haven't felt like I wanted to like really invest myself in the show since Capaldi left. I didn't really connect in the, the seasons that followed when Capaldi left, but I'm, I'm feeling reconnected with this new doctor. It's, it's working for me, it's working for me. And that's not a knock on Jodie. That is not in any way a knock on Jodie's version of the doctor. It just, there was something about it that was a barrier for me. And it was not a gender related barrier by any means, but there was something about her portrayal of the doctor. Like there's a lighthearted, bantery, quippiness that is mixed in to cover a tortured soul, right? Somebody who's trying to like cover their pain with humor. And that to me is sort of like the core of the doctor. And I didn't feel that. And I didn't get that that notion watching Jodie play the doctor. And again, not good, not bad, different version, but it wasn't allowing me to connect to that character in the way I've connected to other doctors. That's all. But this new doctor, this new doctor, and the baddies that they're putting him up against, entertaining, very entertaining. So I'm on board for the new series of Doctor Who. We'll see where, where this one takes us. Hopefully it'll be exciting and wonderful and then they won't keep us waiting for like years between seasons anymore. Please, Disney, if you're listening, please don't make us wait the way BBC made us wait because, oh my gosh, I don't want to go through that again. I want a steady stream of Doctor Who if possible. Um, yeah. We've got some good movies coming to the theater in the near future. Looking forward to... Uh, Wolverine Deadpool movie. That's going to be fun. Yeah. Um, yeah, there, I feel like there's there's more more going on now. I also feel like the lull that got created from the writer strike and the SAG after strike, um, we're coming out of that lull now. And like the stuff that started to get made when the strike ended is or before that resumed when the strike ended is is now pushing through and finishing up and making its way to theaters, which is amazing. Yeah, I felt like we had hit this lull and there was just like not a lot of good entertainment to watch and made me nervous because last time that happened was the sort of like heyday of reality TV and I really did not want to go down that, that path again. That was, not, that was not the place I wanted to exist in. But it looks like we're coming back and hopefully 
with good storytelling. Hopefully with good storytelling. So we'll see, we'll see. So yeah, um, I guess that's it. I don't have a heck of a lot going on right now, just sort of trying to catch up on life these days. So I guess with that, I'm done for the day. I'll see you all real soon. And until then, stay inspired by everyone. Take care. Bye.